So good morning, welcome back to Thought for the Day. We're looking today at Romans chapter 8 and verse 27. Before we do that, we're going to pray. Loving Father, as we come to you this morning, we pray that you would speak to us through your word. We ask that we might understand it. We ask, Lord, that it might have, uh, Lord, make, that it might make a difference in our lives. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive us for our sin. We ask, Lord, that you would work in us powerfully, that we might be more like the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you particularly for Romans chapter 8, Lord. We thank you for the encouragement that it gives us in the way that we live our Christian lives. We thank you that it tells us of the great things that you have done for us. And we pray that you'd speak to us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. So let me read to you Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 and verse 27. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. So when you visit somewhere for the first time, it's often better if you have a guide, isn't it? So you go to a place and you don't know it very well, and you're wanting to make the maximum use of your time there. It's often uh, best to have someone who knows the area, knows it well, and can lead you in it, or even take you to see those particular places that are, are worth seeing. And now if you start as well in a new workplace, uh, and you want what you want is a new work colleague to show you around, to teach you the ropes, to show you what you should and shouldn't do. So uh, we need those kind of things if we want to um, do well in those particular settings. Now sometimes, as we think about the Christian life and how to live it, uh, we can think that we would like someone to uh, guide us, to um, take us on, on the right paths, to lead us. Um, in our lives and and while the truth of the matter is as Christians we have that don't we we have that in the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the one that God has given to be the guide in our lives and the Holy Spirit is at work within us to make us more like Christ that's his role that's that that's what he uh, wants to do um, he is the one as it were that God is using to bring us to that place of com uh, completion that he promises that we will come to at the return of the Lord Jesus Christ um, he is the one working behind the scenes. So when God examines our hearts then, he sees what the Holy Spirit is doing in us. He sees what the Holy Spirit is up to in terms of the way that we are living. He not only sees our present state, uh, but he sees where the Holy Spirit is leading us, where the Holy Spirit is taking us. He sees the journey that we are on, and, and that's it. We're very much on a journey, aren't we? Now the Holy Spirit, in his intercession for us, is bringing us in line with God's will. He is the motivator, or the motivation. He is the one who transforms, that is, taking us closer to God. And so that's what we have here in this verse, that understanding that the Holy Spirit is at work uh, transforming us, making us like Christ. He, he prays for us that we will um, uh, eventually, under God's grace, that we will desire uh, the good things that he wants for us. He, he is at work, not just changing us, but praying that we might be wanting and willing to change. Uh, even now, when we wander away from God, he is there. He is praying for us to return. The Holy Spirit is there, um, interceding for us on our behalf. Um, he intercedes uh, via the Son, as it were. So he he pleads the blood of Christ that washes away all our sin. He, he as it were, um, intercedes for us in that way, uh, reminding the Father that we are covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and when we're growing in the Holy Spirit, um, he, has the one, he has been the one seeking that growth. So it's not as though we're left on our own. The Holy Spirit is our comforter, the one that comes alongside, the one who, um, as it were, moves us along. So Father, Son and Holy Spirit work in perfect harmony to draw us closer to uh, make us more closely, uh, make us more holy, is the word that I was looking for there. Um, he draws us to himself. So the Holy Spirit, like the guide and the, and the work colleague who shows us the ropes, is leading us into all truth. He's, he's leading us to that which we should be and that which we would desire to be. And as he does so, he pleads our case before the Father, uh, as I've said, citing the Lord Jesus Christ as the reason that we should be changed. Now it would be far easy for far too easy for us to give up, wouldn't it? Were it not for the Holy Spirit at work in us, uh, we would have thrown in the towel a long time ago. When it comes to following God, it comes to following Christ, if we were not empowered and equipped by the Holy Spirit, so we have a great deal to praise the Lord for. 
How do we know what, what, that what we are praying for is right? How, how do we know that we are on the right path? Well, we only know that by um, uh, reading God's word and applying it. And as we apply it, the Holy Spirit, uh, as it were, cements that in our lives. He makes that of importance to us. It's the Holy Spirit leading and guiding us and praying for us. What difference does it make today? Well, it means that we can have every confidence that as we read and apply that scripture, so the Holy Spirit uh, is working in us, enabling us to do what needs to be done. So you might have said to yourself when you've read a Bible um, passage at one time and it's challenging you about a particular sin, but I can't overcome that. Uh, well, we need to uh, throw away that can't language because as we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, so the Holy Spirit enables us to do what God calls us to do enables us to stand where we would fall otherwise um, so uh, he also when we are being stubborn you know there are times when we read God's word and uh, we know that we should apply it but we don't actually want to give up the sin well that's when the Holy Spirit is at work praying behind the scenes as it were interceding behind the scenes for us um, that we might be changed that we might uh, give up the sin that we might give up the uh, particular thing that seems to have grabbed hold of us and, and not let us go at that particular time so we can have confidence and uh, praise God that he is with us and equipping us even today uh, as we continue about our business. Um, without him, it would be we would be easily lost. Without him being within us, uh, we would not be able to carry on. And so uh, we need to remember that he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Uh, and that is the confidence that we have as we read this verse, as we think about this uh, wonderful work that the Lord Jesus is doing uh, in our lives by his spirit then we have great deal to praise God for today. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your grace to us in giving us your Holy Spirit. Father, we pray for forgiveness for the times when we have grieved your Holy Spirit. When we have grieved you, Holy Spirit, we ask that you're for your forgiveness for that. We pray that you would help us to walk in your ways. And we praise you and thank you that you do not give up on us, but you continue to pray for us. You continue to intercede for us. You continue to work in our lives to change our desires uh, and to make us more like the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are doing that, and we praise you that you are the one who will keep us to the end, uh, and we lift our voices in praise to you this day. And we pray that you continue to be with us as a country. Help us, Lord, in this time of COVID-19. May we be those that uh, lift our voices to you in praise and be uh, loving and generous and kind towards our neighbours, Lord, and do all that we can, uh, that we might see this virus stopped, and that we might see the name of the Lord Jesus Christ lifted high. And we ask it for his namesake and for his glory. Amen.